Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the most popular song for every month of the 80s. Now, I did this video before the 70s uh, about a week ago, and it was so much fun fun genuinely i was shocked at how many songs i recognized like i thought going into that video i'd only recognize maybe five to ten percent of it but i reckon i got maybe 40 percent i i would attribute part of that to i've reacted to quite a few songs from that era on this channel but also my mum and dad both love music from that era too so i heard a lot of it growing up this i'm pretty sure it probably will be more maybe like i'm, I'm guessing maybe i'll get maybe at least 40 percent Although, you know, every month of the 80s, that's a lot. That's 120 months. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if I can get 40%. But either way, it's going to be a fun video. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. They always stop the songs like so early, just when I'm getting into it like proper and it's like cut. <laughs> This one sounds a lot like ABBA, doesn't it? The winner takes it all. Speaking of ABBA. The loser has to fall. Upside down. Boy, you turn me inside out. And Another one bites the dust. This makes me want to go out, honestly. <laughs> it makes me want to party. What's the matter to you? Hey, got a no respect. What do you think you do? Why you look so sad? Hey, Luigi, get to the pizza. Gotta speed it up, and then you gotta slow it down. Cause if you believe that a love. It just seems like music from this era had this joy to it, this like uplifting energy to it. Just so far, a lot of these songs have been so like, like uplifting. Do you know what I mean? Let's get physical, physical. Yeah, 
this is pretty much the national anthem of Australia. Like, this is the unofficial anthem of Australia for sure. I love this 80s, like, you know, CGI. <laughs> it's so, like, vintage looking. Michael Jackson is just dominating this. He's had like five or six songs already, and we're not even halfway. sang this song. Stop it so early. Oh, they stopped the song so early. Just give me three more seconds, please. <laughs> I need this playlist, man. Someone needs to make a playlist of these songs and whack it on uh, Apple Music for me. Oh, to say I love you. Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on like a yo yo. What a decade the 80s was. Oh, I know I said something similar in the last video, like the 60s one, but if someone could invent time travel, please, please let me know. Hit me up because I'd pay good money just to go to the 80s for like a month and just party up. It would be so sick.
here. Madonna's really coming into her groove here. Like in this latter section, she's had about four songs. Yeah, because I suspected like Madonna, you know, she killed the 80s, didn't she? Jackson, what a voice. What a voice. Oh my God. Just, um, come on. His voice was incredible. Man, I've heard this song so many times over the years with the Rick Rolling phenomena. Like you, you guys have been Rick Rolled, right? You click on a link that you think is something else, something useful, and then bam, you hear this song. <laughs> George Michael, he was really popular in the 80s too. He's had about five, five hits, I'd say. Phil Collins as well. He's done really well in this decade. So funky, I love that. Don't worry. the heck wherever you go whatever you do i will i have a passion fire start from where i want to go listen to your heart Epic 
video. That video was awesome. Honestly, it was just fantastic. I just, honestly, I, yeah, I, I would actually, if every song on that list, they stretched out to like 30 seconds, like the best 30 seconds of that song, the video would probably be like two hours long, but I would watch it. I would sit here and watch it, honestly, because it was just full of amazing music, genuinely amazing music. I think I got about almost half of those songs. What do you guys think? I think I got about maybe 45% of those, which just shows that great music lives on. You know, great music lives on like forever. Like just the melodies, the funkiness, the creativity, everything just felt fresh. Like, whereas now, you know, I'm sure when I eventually get to the 2020 version of this, there's gonna be so many songs that are like sampled from this era or the 60s era. You know, this it just seems like genuine creativity in music is on the downturn. It just feels like every song these days is sampled from an old song, which I'm not saying is a bad thing, but it's just too prevalent nowadays. Like there's just no originality anymore. But yeah, this, uh, that, this was a lot of fun, honestly. I was just grooving. I couldn't help myself. I tried to like stop myself a little bit, but I just, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next one.